Well, good morning again. My name is Dr. Ed Peck. I am the Vice President for University Mission and Identity here at John Carroll University. Before Father Niehoff blesses this plaza dedicated to St. Ignatius, we thought it would be important to tell you a little bit about the significance of the architectural features that make up this beautiful, reflective, and holy space. These features were designed by our architect, Ber Shakirian. I'd like to remind you as we begin that this new plaza with its fountain sits across the quad from the fountain in front of Our Lady from the class of 1956. Historically, this is a place where alumni of the university have become engaged in a group ceremony. Let me tell you a little bit about this plaza. First, the Latin cross, a word about the Latin cross configuration. The most well-known cross is the Latin cross, which to Christians represents the cross of Christ's crucifixion. The cross of Christianity was a later symbol of faith, replacing the lamb, fish, Alpha Omega, and Phoenix as emblems. The original Christian cross, today called the Greek cross, is shaped like an X. The Greek cross was an abbreviation for the name of Christ, not a representation of the crucifixion cross. The Latin came across later when the mother of Constantine, the Emperor Helena, the Empress Helena, claimed to have discovered the true cross of the crucifixion. Our plaza features a staggered cross built into the design of this fountain. It symbolizes the suffering of Christ for humanity and our struggle to be human in the fullest sense of what that means. It means a life immersed in reflection and awareness that comes with it. The plan includes a social area with a grouping of four benches, illustrating the four vows of St. Ignatius. Poverty, chastity, obedience to Christ, and the obedience to the Pope. These are the vows of St. Ignatius, the first companions, and of all Jesuits. The round table and stools pro provide a place of reflection and reading, and most recently, of lunch of many of our staff and students and faculty. The three-dimensional letters at the Fountain Promenade depict the Jesuits' motto, Ad Maiorum Dei Gloriam, A, M, D, G. This Latin motto for the Society of Jesus, a religious order within the auspices of the Catholic Church, better known formally as the Jesuits, as we know. This motto, translated into English, is for the greater glory of God, and it inspires everything we do as a university. The fountain, a sculptural trowel, allows for water flowing in thin sheets, representing the wellsprings of life, reminiscent of the baptism of Christians. The bricks represent the John Carroll community members' support for the mission and ministry of our campus. These engraved bricks and paving stones have raised monies to support campus ministry initiatives. It is now my pleasure to introduce our president, Father Robert Niehoff, who will address us and bless this plaza. Thank you, Ed. Welcome. Thank you for gathering with us today to dedicate and bless the Ignatius Plaza and Fountain on this wonderful homecoming weekend after such a nice beatdown last night over BW. 
We'd like to give special thanks to the individuals on campus involved in the renovation that add such beauty to our campus. This project is a testament to the power of partnership. Our University Advancement Division and Facilities Office collaborated to not only beautify our campus, but also to thank our generous alumni and friends and supporters and community members. In particular, I would like to recognize Christine Anderson, our donor relations and stewardship coordinator. It was Chris who brought forward the idea of this plaza and advocated passionately for it. Chris is here today, so please join me in thanking her. The class of 1962 provided the funds for the St. Ignatius statue on the occasion of their 35th reunion. That gift made in 1997 and over the years weather and wear and tear took their toll on the area surrounding the statue. Repairs were certainly needed. More than that, this major campus crossroads deserves to become a signature gathering space for our community. A community of support made the ambitious plans for this project into a beautiful reality. We thank the more than 1,800 JCU alumni, family, friends who generously gave to the St. Ignatius Plaza project. Each name and message on this plaza tells a special Carol story. Stories that showed the powerful connection forged through their John Carroll University experience. Thank you for creating this meaningful place through your support. We are especially grateful to the class of 1964 for their vision and funding of the fountain. We are joined today by Susan Adams, whose husband, Alan Adams, was the driving force uniting the class in this effort as a part of, the, of their 50th reunion. Alan had a deep commitment to John Carroll through his accomplished life. This fountain serves as an enduring symbol of Alan and his classmates' dedication to their alma mater and as a lasting tribute the difference they have made here for future generations. And so we thank the class of 1964. The journey of college is all about transitions and transformations that took place on campus and in the lives of our students. St. Ignatius presenting his sword symbolizes the spiritual conversion of Inigo Lopez de Oñas y Loyola. His rebellious rogue youth life into the prayerful missionary that we now see. This pose is only one moment in his long life journey that formed a vast communication network of friendship, love, and care for others. Now let me digress for a couple moments. During the Plaza Project fundraising, Tony DiCarlo's family came forward and said, we need a signature place in this project for Tony DiCarlo. Now those of you who've been around Carol for a while recognize the history and legacy. Tony DiCarlo's family have named the table and chairs in his honor. Let's thank Tony for his service. I was thinking this morning that being a man of the Pacific Northwest, when I was a young Jesuit, I could name the four or five major spiritual experiences in my life that happened by the water. 
and I was recalling this morning and even listening to it reminded me today when I was in college in the mountains of Colorado all my friends it seemed all my friends were leaving the Jesuits I can name seven of them who left over a year or two who seemed to be my closest friends sitting by a river in the Rockies the Lord and I had a conversation about that and he told me it wasn't me and he told me I will be with you like the running waters so not all of us have the opportunity to have those kinds of experiences but we now have a place I have heard and not verified that in the early days of the fountain I saw a couple very intriguingly intense behind this fountain which I heard later might have been the couple who have already been engaged behind this fountain so this fountain becomes a new venue on our campus for prayer for major life choices and decisions and for God's grace to be with us like the flowing of these waters this plaza has already become a space that encourages interaction and reflection where friendships are formed and deepened and even where a couple's engagement has already taken place this beautiful location like Ignatius days looking at the river Cardinaire offers a sacred spot for us to reflect on what is more conducive to the end for which we have been created this plaza stands as a reminder to spend time in prayer and communication with God enhancing our ability to love and serve others we now have a quiet meditative spot for the many beginnings pauses and transitions that happen on our many life journeys especially the ones that brought us maybe that was the Holy Spirit flying by especially the ones that brought us to guide us through and ultimately return us back to Carol and now I will bless this fountain This concludes our ceremony. We're so grateful that so many of you came out to be with us today. You're welcome to stay and enjoy one another's company and this beautiful space. Uh, we have refreshments inside in the atrium and hope that all of you can join us in the varsity gym for the celebration of mass at 10.30 a.m. Thank you.